good day, fish biting. Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye. I'll help. Out of kindness. Wait for the signal. And mum's the word. Understood? Master Casimir! Toss aside the torch, you guts! Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! What? What's going on here? Ain't it play? Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Bought the wench pearls, silks, satins, and how the fuck she repaid me? Made me a heat banger! Cuckold! Huh. A falling out in the family? Aye. His Euphemia. She were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow. Ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon. And that's all we've seen of her. Master Chasm has been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging. Now this. Ah, this'll be one for the ploughing annals. Going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad. I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered? The wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing. Not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail military, our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lately come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believe the bugger. Three years they bumped about under my nose, then ran off. My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. I commiserate, honestly. Oh, talking at your fanny flaps. No, no, seriously, I... I? Seriously? Couldn't give a hedgehog's ass for me and my troubles. You're as bogging a liar as Euphemia! Think you can dupe me with your sweet and mincing, eh? Oh no, no! That was that! Casimir, no! You, Quinto? The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa! I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage. Right? What did he do to step on your toes? Ours? Not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. And as Master Hands of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You, or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. Same as the wanted posters say.
buy him out? Pretty pedestrian. How about we play a round of cards for Quinto's freedom? Hmm, why not? But lose and the price on his head'll double. You in. What the hell? I'm game. Got my fingers crossed. Pass for me too. Let's total it up. I win. Heavy-handed hands? The Tretagor maneuver? With cards like that? <sighs> Get him out of here before I fucking burst her! What? How did you...? Fishbone. Did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out. Witcher showed up before I could. Let that be my recommendation. Now, do tell. What's it you need me for? Need you to open something for me. Something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? The Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you? Talk. What do you want? Rather talk eye to eye. Everline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well, once again. What do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain... Auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we're not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Wow, Prime! What? But I... Shh! Grab your crossbow and get to work. We end with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. That man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. 
Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. And Countess Yvonne of Lanexeter's necklace. Your handiwork, wasn't it? It was. I scaled a gutter, entered her bedchamber. Ha! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Ah! At last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, its vault. That's our target. Everline, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes as I'm off. It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Quinto will crack the lock. We get in the vault, take the loot, disappear out the back through the secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Hmm. All good and fine, except... What if something goes wrong? Seriously. You're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. What about the vault? How is it secured? With a door. But you ought to be able to handle it. Any other problems, we resolve as they come. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. Great. But if you were to... Find that location, I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? All right, let's get to work. Want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp, and everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about wearing masks? Not a city in the north that don't have wanted posters with my likeness hanging about. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the city watch. Blabber anything about this over the nail, and I'll kill you with the old man. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together, now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way then. <laughs>